Welcome. Can you please begin by telling us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Jamie Smith, and I'm from Pasco, Washington. And can you begin to share your testimony? A couple years ago, um, I'd had a, a diagnosis of plantar fasciitis. It's an inflammation in the lining in the soles of my feet. Um, it caused me not to be able to walk very well without pain, um, wake up with pain, go to sleep with pain, continuous pain in my feet. Um, I wasn't able to come home at night after work and take care of my kids. Um, I wasn't able to cook dinner. I wasn't able to clean my house. I was just shuffling along at the end of the day trying to make it through. Um, and then <laughs> a couple weeks ago we had um, a prayer line and Pastor Vlad came through and he um, said we were going to pray for everybody. Well, I wasn't part of the prayer line. I was just part of the everybody. And so he says he's going to spray the anointing water. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, he's going to do this and I'm going to believe this. And all of a sudden there was no pain. There was just no pain. Guys, let's put our hands together. Um, this is, it's still kind of like, you know, like when you have hiccups. <laughs> And then you finally get rid of the hiccups, and then you're kind of a little nervous, like, okay, when are the hiccups coming back? It's gone. It's gone. I've had two weeks. I actually shocked my grandson the other day because I said, don't you do that. And he did it, and I got up really quick, and he was like, whoa, grandma got up. Um, so I am healed. I have no pain in my feet. I can walk. I can, I can dance, if you would like. Um, <laughs> I can get down on my hands and knees, I can crawl around, and there's just like, I go to sleep at night and I wake up in the morning and there's no pain. There's no initial pain when I touch the ground with my feet. There's no, it's just gone. It's just, just gone. How long did you have this problem and where were you in search of solution? Uh, the first time I actually had it, I was 20, but the last two years, it's been continuous, day and day and day. Um, I have seen doctors. I've had shots of cortisone put in my feet. Um, we were talking surgery at one point. Um, I have had prescription medications to deal with pain, which actually make me not a very good parent at the end of the day either. Um, so yeah, I've, I've tried everything that I could medically um, without cutting off my feet because that's not an option. I need them. Um, so yeah, I'm here today walking with feet. And what can you do now that you couldn't do before? You were talking about your job, your eight children. What can you do now that you could not, you had a very difficult time doing before? I have a servant's heart. Um, I love to serve. And I am a preschool teacher. Um, it's been my calling um, my whole life. I've been working with children in preschool. Um, and I have to get down on the ground a lot. I have to be able to to walk and move, and I have to be able to, to be silly and to be happy. And when you have a chronic pain and you have to put that smile on, it's really hard sometimes. And I was able to, um, to get by, but now I can come and I can serve. I can come on Wednesday night and I know I can be in children's ministry and that I'm gonna be able to be active with the kids. I'm not just gonna have to sit there and hope that I don't look like I'm in pain. Um, I can stand up on Wednesday evening services, and I'm not going to be up here being like, oh, it hurts. I'm going to be like, thank you, Jesus. And so last question. What is your word of advice for us? Keep pressing in and don't give up. Um, I, I had a mentality where I was like, why me? Why me? Why, God? Why do I have to have this pain? Why haven't you taken it from me? And something clicked. Something shifted. Um, and that Sunday, it was like, why not me? Why can't I have this healing? I can have this healing. I, this is my healing. It's mine. It's now. And a couple times since then, you know, the enemy has tried to take me down. And I've just declared, just, just openly declared. I've just said it. My kids look at me kind of like, okay, mom. But it's just, it's me. It's mine. It's my healing. The Lord gave it to me. Holy Spirit is here with me. It's, it's done. You guys, let's give another round of applause for Jesus Christ. We thank God for your testimony, and we encourage you to make God's word a standard for your life and that your healing will be permanent. Thank you so much for sharing your testimony.